Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm showing you guys how to edit like Sovio in DaVinci Resolve. This video is heavily inspired uh, by Spixie. I'm going to be giving away a bunch of presets, so make sure to subscribe and like as it does help me out a lot. And without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is drag in your cinematic. I'm just going to be using this grass hut cinematic. Uh, nothing very uh, advanced, uh, but just drag that in and... Uh, as well as a light leak. I'm gonna be using the pink light leak right here. I'll link a couple more light leaks if you want to use in the in the description below. Uh, go ahead and put this on add right here, and you can switch this down to like 50 if you want. And then go ahead and change the uh, the hue. You can just look up hue set right, and just like that, and you can change it. So we are gonna probably need this on full to tell the color. But we can change it after. So we're going to change it to this nice green. And we can lower the opacity down again. Just like that. And I think we can go a bit lower. 35 might be good. Maybe probably a bit lower. I think 20 will be good. So right here. Okay, I think that's good. And we can just trim it like that. And uh, there you go. So the next thing we're going to do is add the text right here. We just add a fusion composition and like so open this in a fusion and add your text and i will uh, link the text in the description below uh so you can just uh whatever your song title is you just type that in and you use the phone that's <laughs> and you use the font um what's it called again uh panic yeah panic use the font panic and you can just leave it like that and then you can add a gradient gradient s underscore gradient to it and uh add, make this molt and start color and make this start color um uh, whatever color you want i'm gonna start with green and with a yellowish color greenish yellowish like that and i'll put the end color down more and then add make this go down so they're kind of contrasting and then you can add a s underscore hue stat right so with this it'll kind of make it like looks like it's moving so you can just keyframe it and then go to the end and then keyframe it so it should look like this and i think it looks pretty nice uh and then to make it actually move we're going to add a displace displace uh, uh displace right here we add that and then we add in our uh displacement map and then just plug this into the displace and that should look like that and then you can make the you can adjust with the settings the offset the sh the strength you can put that down a uh, bunch i don't think it i'm gonna put it at zero or uh, point one. yeah i think it has to stay there and the spread can be pretty big number and i think that's really all you need to do for here and then you can just go ahead and add a drop shadow if you like and if you do need to copy the display settings right here copy those and just for the drop shadow i'm gonna put the blur or the sh opacity down a bit uh switch these to zero like that and you can shift this down a bit like there and then here's our text and we can definitely make these a lot bigger like that and put play this in full and just to show you what it looks like so that's what it looks like in full just so you know and i think we can put the opacity up for the shadow a bit yeah i think that looks good and next thing you're going to do is actually add your clip in so we're going to add this clip in right here and you're going to sync it up with the b and i'm going to make this beat where the item comes in and just so i know that right here you're going to go to read time controls uh, delink these clips at a speed point right here okay so after dragging your clip in drag your item in and i'm going to doing the slow i'll show you guys how to do this so go go ahead and just make this transparent you can open it in fusion uh just add delta here and 
drag this in just like that. And you can go ahead and even add raise to your item if you'd like. S underscore raise and uh, just choose the color just like that. And then uh, we're going to put that right on the beat. Try to find where it starts at. And I think mine starts about here. If we find it, yeah, it starts right about there. And then ends right about right there. Okay, and then you just put it there and then that's how long your item will last. And then just go and split it, the clip right there and uh, add a speed point here and just make it 50. I'm gonna scoot this over a bit and make that 50. You're gonna scoot this over a bunch and make this 50. Okay, and now you can trim this up and just put this in. And if your audio got all messed up, you can just go ahead and delete that. And here you go, uh, you can add, go ahead and add the beat shake. So go ahead and just put on this adjustment clip and just uh, trim it up a bit and then add the beat shake for this. Go ahead and just add the beat shake and just do that. And it should, you might have to realign the keyframes, but just select them and put them over here and it should look like that. And then you're gonna split this clip again and add the VHS. And you can go ahead and drag in my VHS preset if you'd like, or if you have your own settings, you can use those. And it should look just like this. And then with this beat shake, we're gonna realign it and see where it starts. So it starts here and then ends right here. So we're gonna put that like right here, right there. And then there you go, you got the beat shake. You can put this on quarter. Cause you're definitely gonna need that. And as well as uh, render cache on smart and save your project. Okay, and then you just duplicate it right here and do that. And I think I'm going to put it in the middle right here. I think it looks better like that. Okay, so now we're on our clip. So now to sync this up, we're going to need uh, to uh, do some velocity. So for the velocity, you just delink the clips and start doing it. So you add a speed point there and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Or sorry, uh, just go to where the shotgun pulls out. And I think pretty sure mine pops out right there because you don't see the builds anymore even though it's being covered and then you just like bring it uh put another speed point in the middle of those two make this 50 and then make this 400 drag this back and uh, you make sure to use this to drag it and drag it like that and then just make this 50 Okay, next thing you want to do is just drag in, oh, sorry, yeah. next thing you want to do is uh, split this right here on the beginning, and then at the kill, hold alt to duplicate, and then we're going to mask. So, I'm going to mask mine in After Effects, but keyframe the corrector and sizing after you mask this. So, let's say I masked it, masked it, uh, corrector and sizing, make sure to keyframe those, adding alpha output, and connect those. And let's so you want to like position these, you just drag them. And to go another frame, you just hit the arrow key and it should automatically keyframe for you. And you just move it around your skin. Make sure to mask it actually correctly because I'm not gonna, this is just an example. Uh, but if you want to delete it, just hold a scroll wheel on it and then it disappears. And that's pretty much it. And then if you go back and uh, after you mask, uh, I'll be back after I wrote this in After Effects. Okay, so after you've um, masked it, go ahead and drag in the pink skin glow. Uh, it's not the best skin glow, but I kind of used it for my last tutorial, changed up the colors and added some effects to be honest, uh, but very nice. Uh, go ahead and just open the one you split down below and add in the VHS preset uh, again. And you can just drag that in. Uh, drag it into there yeah like that and just like there you get this and you can also uh with the composite com key from the opacity and go down one one two three and you can shrink it down a bit like that and then fade this in like there and there you go and then you can add your impact uh which just add an adjustment clip right here okay so anyway just add your impact right here open it in fusion and then uh drag in dave's rgb impact just drag that in and connect these uh, connect the media in and the media out 
and you're probably gonna need to re keyframe all these using this keyframe if you are on spline just do the exact same thing but on spline and check all your boxes for spline by the way and you can for this you just zoom all the way out select all the keyframes using control a or uh you just select them like this you might want to expand this so you can select all of these so you can hold that and select these just like that and you drag them you drag them to the beginning and make sure you're on the first one and just like that they're all synced up and you can drag this down so you can see it now and there's the impact and there you go uh, that is the final rotobush and everything and then the next thing we're going to do is do the um so like opacity fade beat shake thing uh, just go and split your clip uh, at the end of the impact and just delete those and then add your second clip in and we're going to sync this and so go ahead and just uh, uh, mark your clip right here and uh, or sorry mark the song beat right here and trim it up so for me my kill was right here so I'll just mark it trim it put it right there and then i gotta trim this one up as well okay, and then just like that you got it so you can just do the velo as you did before just like that at a speed point and go one two three four or sorry when the shotgun pulls out i'm just so used to doing regular velo but this is probably easiest velo you can possibly do put it in the middle and put this to 50 400 Drag this back, 50, and that's it. And you just add your impact and beat shakes and you're all good. Uh, all, also, uh, I meant to, um, <clears throat> I kind of messed this up for you guys. Go to the very end of this impact, uh, split it, uh, and then split your clip over here because I split it in the wrong place. But you can just go ahead and resync it and just... Right here mark the beat and you can just resync it then we are going to do this kind of opacity fade thing uh you just go and keep in the opacity and then go down and i just put it at 25 and then I split the clip again and then go into this one and put it back and then put it to 100. okay and make sure to save your project before adding temporal blur uh and if you can't add it that's okay okay and after adding your opacity uh drop thing uh you're pretty much done uh, but the only thing you really need to do is add, uh, beat shakes. Uh, I might have accidentally deleted this one. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so add your beat shakes wherever you want. And you can add, uh, I really like the symbol sound effect. I'll go ahead and link that one in this, uh, description with it. And put this on it. And it's really love the sound effect. It's very nice. And, uh, just do the sound effects. I'm gonna... I'm just doing the sound effects and overlay slash basically. Uh, just uh, line the, just line up the things and you are all good. Uh, then I'll also add a pump, and that's pretty much it. Other than uh, also uh, one more thing, you can also use a shockwave effect. That's very nice. You can put this right here and on the end of the clip, and you can also put this at add, and you can probably put the opacity down a bit to like. 65 is a uh, pretty good uh you can also uh add some other stuff uh but uh the final thing you're going to add to kind of give this um uh shockwave better is to store rgb uh turn down all this stuff and uh put this to 0 0.3 0 0.03 like that and just keyframe it down to zero so it should look like this uh, that's pretty much it though uh hope you guys did enjoy uh make sure to subscribe and like anyway guys uh bye